and hopefully daddy's making us burgers. Christmas threw up in here too. Eww. Finally made it into town to do some grocery shopping. I'll show you guys how we do this with a baby. Until okay, you're gonna go on my back. Come on. Here we go. Let's do this. You guys, this is my bill in there, 130. See if we can do a little bit better at the other store, but I got any kind of stuff. I got 40 cents off a gallon here at Fred Meyer's. Here we go, I got my receipt. 2.71 a gallon, eek. 
it was, I guess that would make it 310 a gallon and then um, I had 40 cents off per gallon my goodness yikes fuel these days baby's not happy in the car so we gotta hurry up So we're currently in the car in the parking lot nursing because this is comfortable. It's just comfortable and easy to nurse in the car. And no, I do not nurse in the bathroom. If baby or toddler wants to nurse in public, I nurse in public. But um, for me, she was screaming in the car at the bottle drop. And so it just worked out better that she screamed until I got parked in the parking lot. And hey, I'll just nurse her right now real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you all done nursing? You got that warm nursey face. Oh, you putting it on your chapsticks? It's a big tube of chapstick and yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, chapstick. It's so funny. Chapstick. <laughs> Chapstick. <laughs> Chapstick. Christmas, we threw up in here. And Christmas everywhere. I don't even know where to start. I got super cute pajamas. Cute. Oh my goodness, you guys. Somebody is throwing a mega fit because I couldn't open up the can of olives that I threw in the cart. So here we are in the Tampax aisle because the Tampax aisle also has the baby food, right? Because they go hand in hand, Tam Tampax and baby food. Give her what she wants. That made her happy. That's a little bit. That's I know that I give you whatever you want. I just had this talk, but come on. Well, looky there. They've got the everything bagel seasoning at my store for 401, so I cannot find the flake sea salt. Sesame seeds. Minced onion. Two for five dollars for taco night. You can have one and you can stop being bad. Okay, she got into my purse and got out this little case of coffee that I had and dumped it all over her. Then we were pushing the cart through the parking lot and this cap busted off and we got detergent everywhere, you guys. And it's all over the parking lot and I lost probably three loads of laundry just <sighs> That was a nightmare. Now the baby's fussy. We have to go into Home Depot to get ballast for the lights in the kitchen that aren't working properly. Hopefully that fixes my lighting problem in the kitchen because as you guys know from my other videos, the lighting in the kitchen sucks. What I really wanna do is go in here and buy a whole new bathroom, but I'm not gonna do that today because I don't have time for that right now. So we're just gonna go in here and get the ballast, get out, get home, and hopefully daddy's making us burgers because we are too hungry mama jamas. So let's go check it out. Oh my God, Christmas threw up in here too. Eww. Look at all the pretty sparkles. Ooh love the dragon is back again we might have to get that one of these days maybe after christmas when it goes on sale it must have gone home it's like 15 after would not be oregon if not for the grow lights everywhere all right here we are 
We're in this section and we want to get just single ballasts. Okay, we have changed our mind and we're going to go with this four foot strip LED light and pray and hope that, oops, I almost dropped it on the baby's head. We are going to hope and pray that this works because this is the only thing I can find. So let's hope that it installs easy and we can get on the road because this is fun. What's up everybody? Just want to share our bi-monthly grocery haul. We still have quite a bit of stuff in our pantry. This was just mostly to fill in the gaps. It also is a holiday month. I'll continue to prep food to have things that are easy for travel and easy to fix when we're there so that we can just enjoy the time being around family. And I will show you guys a lot of things I bought um, from the bulk restaurant store and then I also went to the Fred Meyers in town. We buy almost the same stuff twice a month. And a few extra things that we got to use for the trip. So starting with the, the restaurant supply store, their bananas were green. So I got three bunches of their green bananas and then one bag of av big avocados. And their avocados, they didn't have that many that looked good, so I only got one bag from there, but I usually get two bags, but this was the best looking bag that they had. Three bunches of bananas, um, baskets to prove my sourdough in, and um, I needed two more. So I got went ahead and got two more. I'm gonna be making everything bagel topping. Um, so I bought a whole thing of poppy seeds. It was only like four bucks, so that seems like really inexpensive for that big of a thing. I don't know what I'm gonna, what I could possibly do with all of this. <clears throat> I guess I could make lemon poppy seed bread and then maybe I'll start adding poppy seeds to my sourdough. Okay, we got a lot of produce from there. So we've got the peppers. We like to use those in chili and then my kids like to eat raw red peppers and yellow peppers. They also love cucumbers. So we got a bag of six cucumbers and then a three pack of the English cucumbers. Two bags of my favorite kale salad. It's just easy dinners. Look, I have four kids right now. I need what's easy for me and my husband to eat while it's trying to stay healthy. And I've been on kind of a tortilla kick and I know that I claim to be a Whole Foods family, but life's been just crazy lately. And it just makes sense for me to be able to prep a whole lot of burritos, um, whether it's breakfast burritos or elk meat burritos, that I can do that with those. And these freeze really well and they come in like separate packages. So in there, there's like separate um, individual wrapped <clears throat> packages of burritos. And today we used a whole one and made breakfast burritos and froze them for our trip. Then I got a big five dozen pack of cage-free eggs. Um, we no longer have chickens, so I'm just doing what's cheap and as healthy as I can get right now. We also got a huge bag of apples, a thing of grapes, and a bag of granola for our upcoming trip for for another easy snack or easy breakfast or to throw on yogurt. Then we've got this huge five pound bag of shredded cheese. It just makes my life easier. Um, I don't eat very much dairy, if any at all, but um, this makes it easier to make my family the burritos and to throw on the kids salads and things like that. So all of this was from the restaurant supply store. And I also got, um, I also got a thing of toilet bowl cleaner and I already put that away. Here's the LaCroix. I also got this from the restaurant supply store. I just had it in the wrong area. So yeah, also we do use um, cloth napkins at the dinner table, but it's six season. So if the kids happen to throw up or if there's any gross messes that I need to clean up, I got a big old thing of premium paper towels from the grocery supply store. I also bought this five pound bag of, ma of mango and it's in my freezer. This all totaled, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm missing. This all totaled $130, which seems like really expensive, but it's all bulk. So it's a lot of food. Next, I went to Fred Meyers and I got two bags of tortilla chips. Um, it just makes life a little bit easier to have uh, for taco night. Um, got two bags of the whole wheat King Arthur flour for my sourdough. Um, the kids really like, for a special treat, they like the baked beans. And then I needed some tomato sauce and tomato paste, so we got that. And we love to eat olives. Got a bunch of olives. Um, I had a discount cash back from my Boda for the olives. And I ended up getting quite a bit of money um, cash back. The King Arthur flour, I got cash back on that as well for my Boda. Um, and then I'm trying to hold a baby and do this at the same time. I also got the onion, 
in the black sesame seeds to contribute towards the everything bagel seasoning that I'm gonna be making. Got the bags of dark chocolate chips, another bunch of bananas. Those bananas back there were too green, so I got some yellow bananas from Fred Meyers. Bag of oranges, a bag of avocados, because we eat a lot of avocados, and then two dozen white eggs for baking. Then we've got right here whole milk, coconut milk, and chocolate almond milk. Um, I use the chocolate almond milk in my coffee, and then the other milks are for the kids. And I couldn't resist this coconut milk eggnog. Um, dairy-free eggnog okay and then down here on the floor the baby is still potty training I don't have enough diapers really to wash a load of diapers so I got her some huggies um, there, that was a cash back deal from Ibota as well not sure if I mentioned the yogurt but this is what we use with the granola and that while in the store I bought a bunch of these I bought four of these these are gonna be for a trip to try to keep the baby happy in the car because she's car cries the whole entire time I went ahead and opened up this bag in the store, and then she ate on those while we shopped. So the toilet bowl cleaner and the LaCroix came from the restaurant supply store, and then I also got the all, and that is what um, fell off the cart, off the bottom of the cart, and the lid popped off, and then I lost about three or four loads of laundry. From Fred Meyer, this grocery haul was 170 I believe. Gosh, that seems like a lot of money for this stuff. And we don't even buy meat from the store. But yeah, all of that was 170 bucks, And I feel like I'm missing something somewhere. But yeah, I don't know. I guess food is expensive these days. And then all of this was 130 So I stayed right at my $300 second half of the month food budget. And that will carry us along with a lot of stuff in our pantry. And then our whole freezer is full of elk meat. So and deer meat so all of this food will carry us through the rest of the month <clears throat> okay, so with my ibota app i had ten dollars cash back and that accumulates until twenty dollars then i can get a twenty dollar gift card to like any number of places but i always choose amazon my grocery bill was three hundred dollars but if you subtract the cash back it was 290 which is a good deal and a big win in my book check down in the description below and you will see a link to get your Ibota hookup. And I'm getting ready to install They're just LED lights to replace our fluorescent lights. Hopefully I get that done tonight. I'm feeling really exhausted, so maybe that'll happen tomorrow. It'll happen tomorrow.